this lynx spider. This is really cool. It's just going in over here. It's a bit dusty. But it's a bright green spider who's decided to live in the car. Now it's got quite a long uh, cephalothorax. I'm going to see. Sorry, that was me. I'm just trying to see if I can get it out to coax it out a little bit because I would like to release it into the bushes. But look at that. Now. The crab spiders and I think the lynx spiders look quite similar, but the lynx spiders have got that very uh, elongated cephalothorax, not like the crab spiders, which are generally a little bit rounder. And you can see tiny little la uh, hairs all over its body. Oh, beautiful looking spiders, but I think it will look much better on a tree rather than inside my car. But this is what happens every now and then, is that when you do go off-road, and we were off-roading for those lions this morning, every and now and then one gets caught up in the car. That's not a bad spot. I think it's relatively safe in here. Let's see if we can find any more of these monkeys and then I'll tell oh, there we go. There's one walking right on the road for us. Very kind. So one of my favorite stories, well it's not it's funny now, it wasn't funny at the time, was I'd taken a guest <clears throat> out on a boat cruise, a morning boat cruise. This was many, many years ago. And parked our our game viewers you know, just uh, near the jetty, and as normal, I told everybody, take anything that you have that's valuable. There's a whole lot more playing just down there. And of course, so we did, we took our cameras, we took our backpacks, we took some, anything that the monkeys couldn't get hold of, because we've all had these experiences before, where they come through and raid your vehicle. Anyways, that did not stop them. Oh, there we go. There's one sitting up there feeding on the pods of that knob thorn, just up top in that far tree. Right on the edge, you can just see the white belly. There we go. To the left. And a little bit more. There we go. There it is. So we go. So eating the pods, like I was telling you. So anyways, I came back and I knew something was wrong because I could see the tops of the trees moving around quite a bit. And I knew that the monkeys were there. And they were awfully quiet. And when nature goes quiet, and especially with the monkeys, I always find that they're up to no good. Just like this youngster would probably be if it was around the lodge very carefully moving about the tree now. Anyways, first thing that I noticed once we headed up is my bright orange sort of uh, microfiber cloth that I used to use to wipe my, my vehicle down. There was a big leap into the quarry tree. Woo! It's, I think this one is confused and thinks it's a bush baby. But monkeys can also jump really well, of course. They're well adapted in the trees. And when I saw that in the top of an acacia tree, I knew to myself, I knew, oh no, I, this is going to be a disaster. Anyway, they picked up all sorts of things and decorated my car in wonderful landmines, which was fantastic. You can imagine all the guests thought it was the funniest thing. And I said, it's funny now, wait till we start driving and the smell that lingers once a monkey defecates is not a nice smell. I can tell you that right now. But uh, I've had them break into my rooms as well, squeeze shampoo and conditioner all over the show.